I just noticed that. Um, <laughs> great way. <laughs> Anyways, hello. I'm Jason Statham. I'm going to fight a gigantic shark. It's a megalodon. <laughs> Anyways, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another watch along in the Jason Statham marathon that I'm working on here. Because um, I've been on a big Jason Statham kick after the beekeeper. But regardless of that, tonight we are watching The Meg. The very first one. Um, but as you can see, none of my co-hosts are here at the moment, but possibly they might be showing up a little bit later. But my buddy, Dave, is here. So how's it going, Dave? I'm doing great. Got my cranked up hair for Shark Nation. <laughs> it's time to kick some ass with sharks. <laughs> All right, it's time to crank it up. <laughs> now get the yeah. shots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 yeah. Just to let you guys know, if if anybody was wondering, since because I talked about it so much, and that's my and it's my favorite. Where's the crank watch along? Yeah, it's coming. Don't worry, crank will be coming, and same thing with crank too. They will be coming. Uh, let's see. Who wants to see Jason Statham fight a big shark for two hours? Uh, me! Me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. MVP! You would do. Yep, the MVP. Of course. Because whenever we do the Jason Statham marathon, like anytime he comes to the, one of those watch alongs, Jason Statham impression, 1000%, dude. Yep. I mean, I'm the transporter. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> and speaking of which, we will be doing these two uh, sometime down the line. Just nice. these two. Just these two. The good ones. The good transporter movies. The third one sucks. Come at me. The third one sucks. And refueled, that's not even a movie. It's an Audi car commercial. But um Jared is in the chat. What's going on, Jared? What up, Jared? Always good to see you, buddy. Get your ass in here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah, there's not much really else to talk about right now, but um I can say for this week. Um I can just I can just say right now, um after this weekend, it is going to be a stacked month in April, dude. When it comes to new movies, we got a stacked month ahead of us. It is. I thought it was light. Maybe I just didn't look at it properly. Well, this weekend we have. Well, you're seeing Blood and Honey too on Wednesday, which I'm going to be skipping because none of my theaters are playing it. Yeah. Um, more than likely Thursday, we'll be seeing um, Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire, which. I've been kind of for, I've been forgetting that movie's coming out to be honest with you. Like, I don't know. The marketing um, has been kind of odd with it. I need to finish Godzilla vs King Kong to finish up my review series, and then I'll be ready to go Friday to see that. Yep, and then um, what else we got? And then April, we're going full force, dude. It's gonna be a lot. So let's see, we got. The first Omen, which I'm I'm going to be seeing just to get it out of the way, but I'm not excited about it at all. And neither am I. Um, but we have my most anticipated film of 2024 coming out the same day, which is Monkey Man. Yeah, Monkey Man! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm really excited for Monkey Man. Um, and then we got Alex Garland's Civil War. That looks good. That one's growing on me. I'm actually starting to get more intrigued by that one. It looks good. I mean, I love Alex Garland as a filmmaker. I mean, I pretty much enjoyed all three of his films that he's made, so I don't see a problem with Civil War. I know it's coming out during an election year, but who cares, you guys? I Avoid mean, the politics. I mean, that's what The Purge was known for, and they came out during almost every single election year, so... Yep. And then, um... Then we got 
probably my second most anticipated film of the month, Abigail. Ooh, that one. There's a vampire on my ass! <laughs> I fucking hate ballet. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we talking about? Like, Anne Rice, True Blood, you know, Twilight? <laughs> oh, gosh. Dude, Catherine Newton's gonna, gonna have a heck of a year this year with both Lisa Frankenstein and um, Abigail. Which, by the way, new more people should go see Lisa Frankenstein. Yes, please. Um, also, I can say that Catherine Newton is a certified cool person yep. at the moment because she likes my TikTok of Lisa nice. Frankenstein. She liked one of my tweets, actually. So, yeah. So I can I can officially say that Catherine Newton is a certified cool person. Um. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot about uh, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. That looks so funny. As a big guy Richie fan, I mean, how would I not be excited? Um, and then Challengers. Ooh, yes. Luca Guadagnino's new movie. Can't wait for that one. With everybody's favorite Zendaya. Speaking of which, who's going to be having a heck of a year? Dune Part 2? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah um now you, you mean the movie or the doom popcorn bucket because where people talk about the bucket <laughs> <laughs> god i don't even have the popcorn bucket so let's just i almost i almost bought the bucket just for stupid reasons but i'm like no i have too much self-respect for myself for that clearly you do <laughs> <laughs> yes but um, if you guys do not know how watch longs work, get your physical copy of The Meg or stream it on Netflix. It is on Netflix right now, along with the sequel. Queued up to 000 when we say play, provide commentary, and um, we watch the movie. And take your guys' live comments and questions throughout the stream. So what do you say, Dave? You ready? I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. It's a Megalodon. I actually really like that variant of the of the Warner Brothers logo opening up like underwater. Yeah, that was that's pretty cool actually. Why can't why can't they be that more like more clever like that more often? Because they don't have Jason Statham, that's why. <laughs> I should I should say like for the MGM logo for the beekeeper, they should have had like a bunch of bees flying around the lion. Oh dude. What, beekeeper, watch along. We got to get that one done. That's gonna. That's gonna we're we're, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that probably sometime next month, because that's what's getting its uh, physical release. Yeah, we have ours on pre-order, so I'm just waiting for my copy then. Let me know what you find. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm going to the research facility. God, dude, why does seriously? Why does this make me think? Why is this making me think of the beekeeper? Or the way this is like the way that Statham is first appearing. Call it. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> why am I in this damn boat? <laughs> I mean, the movie itself actually has a pretty good cast overall. Yeah. Ooh. The hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't catch me dead do being in that boat, I'll tell you that much. If you're actually in the water by that time if you actually like were actually in the water your suit like again with your with your suit on, dude, like your your suit would start cracking. Like because it's a ton of pressure underwater. 
Well, that and I'd be screwed anyways because I can't swim, so ain't no way I'm getting in that situation. Satan has the funniest facial expressions when he gets mad. He's like, he's just like, <laughs> move now. Everyone. <laughs> I mean, he is right. Yeah. See? Statham knows what's best. I mean, clearly. Do you think he really had a choice before the thing was even going to blow up? No. Not at all. Shanghai, China. China. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the still... dialogue in the, in the second meg is in subtitles. Yeah. Movie still holds Some up pretty reason. well. Oh yeah, and last month I decided to finally sign up for a horror pack, and I, fi I finally got my first horror pack package. Nice. So, so, and um, let's see. So I got um the breach, which I which I have actually never heard of. So, that's the thing I like about horror pack is that they'll they'll give you some movies that you never heard of, and then so, sometimes you you'll be the one that um that you talk about it. You know, you're the one that talks about it. Yep, I need. I'm thinking about signing up for horror pack. Well, not currently right now because I can't. But when maybe I get one back, day. Yeah, one day I'll be able to do that. Oh, I can't stand him. <laughs> <laughs> I love Rain Wilson. <laughs> what? God damn. Okay, bro. You said about that? <laughs> Let's see, another one I never heard of I got, which is uh, The Last Victim. Never heard of this, but I mean, it's got Ali Larder and Ron Perlman in it. And then um, here, actually, yeah, let's see this one last. This one I have heard of, which is Black Friday. I have heard of this. I think I remember watching that. That was kind of funny. That's one with and Ash Williams, right? Yep, Bruce Campbell. It's also uh, Michael Jai White. Yeah. Black Dynamite and um, Devin Sawa. I haven't I haven't seen it yet, but I have heard of it though. He's currently doing amazing. Well, he was doing great things with Chucky, at least the first two seasons. Hmm. And then the last one is is every month that Horror Pack will send you an exclusive blur that you can only get from them. Mm hmm. Which so this one I got is called Craving. So it's like it looks like a little uh, creature feature, and like I said, it's a horror pack li limited edition, so you can only get this one through horror pack. I don't know if you've seen a movie called Antlers or not, but it was pretty good. 
I didn't like that movie. Yeah. It was interesting. It was based off of my home state. So I'm like, oh, well, I guess this is kind of interesting. Yeah, but like... I'm trying to see. I, li I like the idea that it says for a craving. It says, a group of drug addicts are besieged by a group of mysterious figures inside a rural bar. As withdrawal starts to set in, the patrons, staff, and a group of armed invaders inside a rural bar must identify the bloodthirsty psycho among themselves before it's too late. Hmm. Sounds interesting. I was kind of hoping Meg 3 would come out this year, but I think it's coming out next year. Well, let's hope it's better than the second one. That's all I'm hoping. So let's see. And Jared said just finished watching Ghostbusters Afterlife. Well, nice. Nice. Love, love, love that movie. I thoroughly enjoyed both movies. Yeah, thank you. Frozen Empire was really not that bad. Like, it, it's not that bad. I mean, I only came out with one negative, and that was just a character-based negative, not the movie itself. Well, my negatives are the film's definitely too long. It clocks in an hour 15, and it feels a bit long. Not hour 55. I said 15. Jesus. <laughs> an hour 55. Um, there are a few too many plot lines thrown in there all at once. Yeah. And um, there are some really weird dialogue choices. Oh, you mean like tall, dark, and horny come at 6 o'clock? No. Or was it 12 o'clock? It was one of those two times. It was 12 o'clock, but that's no. that's not the dialogue choice I'm thinking of, though. I mean, that's that, that is definitely like classic Ghostbusters humor. Um... I don't know. There was just some things that they didn't quite like, you know, give us like reasoning why, like we like why we should understand this. But I don't know. My biggest issue was Trevor for the second movie in a row not having anything to do really. I mean, I still like him as a character though, but they just need to give him more to do. Well, if people have watched that end, end credit scene, hopefully third time's a charm, he'll actually do something, man. That mid credit scene was so funny in Go in uh, Frozen Empire. Yes, it was. My truck! <laughs> no spoilers, no spoilers. No. After that, no, nobody, seen, no, nobody heard that. Okay. Let's just lock that out of the head. Yep, we're gonna edit that one out. Nobody heard that. The Megalodon's coming. It's Sharky time. <laughs> <laughs> So instead of if it it's it's morphin time, it's it's sharkin time. Mm -hmm. And also I hate those Mormon time memes. I'd rather get the it's weapon time memes. Oh, I'm i I'm sorry, but oh, Madam Boredom, Madam Hairpool, Madam Annoyance. I enjoyed Madam Webb for the wrong reasons. Sydney Sweeney, huh? <laughs> no, not really that, honestly. I thought the movie was just hilariously terrible. Yeah. She didn't see that coming. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. Oh my god, bro. Well, well I guess Celeste O'Connor did kind of redeem herself a little bit with Frozen Empire. Yeah. Not by a whole lot, though, because... She didn't really have much to do with that one. Even though she was given a little bit more to do with her character, which I liked. Um, 
She was just kind of there for, oh, you were in the first movie, let's bring you back for the second one. Yeah. That sounds kind of right. I think we need a shark, shark averse. Like Megalodon versus Jaws or something like that. Whereas, um, no, we already kind of have a shark averse stuff with like Deep Blue Sea, Jaws, The Shallows, uh, stuff like that. Hey, can't can't forget can't forget Fun Shark. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> you know the movie I'm referring to. I just don't know if I can say it or not. You're talking about like Sharknado? No, the one on Tubi. They're so bad it was good. <laughs> oh, Cocaine Shark. Yeah, that one. You can say you can say that. It's because it's it's a freaking movie title. Can't demonetize me for that. Okay. I you know I don't know this new CEO. He's weird. <laughs> I thought I'd say I miss Susan. <laughs> Uh oh. You're trapped. That's what happened. You're trapped. <laughs> you made it angry. He's coming. He's coming for you. Look, here comes one of them now. <laughs> right. Oh no. If you guys don't know what that running joke is, it's a Night of the Living Dead joke. Like, they're coming for you. <laughs> Look, here comes one of them now. I love Night of the Living Dead. That and Shaun of the Dead and Dawn of the Dead. All the good old school zombie movies. You can talk about both Dawn of the Deads, like uh, the... Georgie Romero and the Zack Snyder one. They're both yep. great. But I would say in regards to gore, in, the, in regards to the Romero flicks, it's like that easily goes to Day of the Dead. Yeah. The gore effects are incredible. Like, some of the greatest uh, practical effects in gore I've ever seen. I mean, bro... When they tear open Captain Rhodes' stomach and then and then a the couple of zombies pull off his legs, I'm like, did they really do that? It looks so <laughs> real. I mean, I know it's obviously practical makeup, but it looks so real. Something they don't know how to do nowadays. See, this is why the eighties that did some had did some great horror films with practical effects. I mean, Train to Busan was pretty good, too. That had some pretty good effects. I mean, both Terrifier movies in regards to their gore, they they use practical effects. Yes. I mean, the Scream movies use practical effects. Yeah. Terrifier 2, the movie that made everybody puke except for me. I didn't puke, luckily. I was getting close to puking a few times. But boy, I cannot wait to see how that goes to Terrifier 3. Oh boy, that's gonna... Uh... <laughs> Especially with it being a Christmas time. Ooh, people are gonna not be happy with that one. Like, bro, I would seriously... If I got Justin to go with me out of town to go see... um. To go see Terrifier 3, I'd be like, um, make sure you have a bag on you for puking. <laughs> but speaking of which, though, when we actually do go to go out of town for a movie, the first one we're thinking about doing is going to a Screen X showing at a Cinemark for Twisters. Nice. Because, dude, that I... would be so worth the Screen X viewing, dude. That is so worth it. I don't even think we have an IMAX anywhere near me. Otherwise, I would... I should have went and saw Dune 2 in IMAX, but we don't have one near us. 
That's a Cinemark thing, though. It's called the Screen X. It's like that's a that's usually a Cinemark thing. It's not like IMAX. It's called it's just called Screen X. You're right. My bad. Screen X. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay though. No worries. But one um, movie, I would tell you this though. One movie I definitely would like to see in IMAX is uh, Borderlands. That'd be a really fun one to listen to see in IMAX. Yeah, I'm still kind of iffy on that one just because I don't know much of the source material and I don't know, the cast seems kind of weird. I don't mind the casting, though, because I've never played a single one of the games that I've never seen gameplay at Borderlands. Yeah. I can say the one I'm definitely vibing with is Ariana Greenblatt as uh, Tiny Tina. I'm definitely vibing with that. I mean, time to make it rain with your body parts. <laughs> I, mean, I think like, Jack Black is a good clap trap, even though. Step aside, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody's definitely complaining about um, Kevin Hart's casting, but it's like, come on, people, just leave Kevin Hart alone. Yes, I know Kevin Hart's gonna be Kevin Hart regardless of what he's in. Like, you kind of have to get used to that. Yeah, and not, I, and I, I like my Kevin loneliness. Hart. He is killing me. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I love that. I love that, dude. <laughs> yeah. Seriously though, I love that. Like when one of the uh, evil people was uh, using gunpoint at Ariana Greenblatt's Tiny Tina. She had like a rocket yeah. launcher, and she's like, "Ooh, mine's bigger." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Girl, you speaking facts for real, for real." <laughs> but she has a. Pretty big career ahead of her um, after Barbie. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Hunters in the chat says, I cannot wait to trash Meg too. Well, well, Hunter, uh, if you're available Hunter. Wednesday night. If you're Hunter, if you're available on Wednesday night, buddy, be my guest. Did you see Late Night with the Devil? Unfortunately, no. I really wanted to see Late Night with the Devil. I did like, too. I was looking at the show times. I, I could go do it for Regal, but it's only like one show time and I don't want to go out that. So I'll just wait for it to be on v VOD. It's going to be on Shudder here in like less than a month, but and I don't have Shudder, so I'm just going to wait for the... Um, Neither do I. I'm just going to wait for, the, the, for, for it to be available for rent. So Did I can you see watch Immaculate this. yet? I I wanted to see it. I mean, <laughs> Sydney Sweeney, obviously, but not even that. Just I can movie... I can tell. Like a lot of people, like some of my friends have really been hyping that movie up, and I'm like, I'll get to it when I can, though. But I'm not gonna be able to see it in theaters. Yeah, I'm just saying when you do, prepare to be uncomfortable. That's all I'm gonna say. I think I. Okay, if if you say that, I need to mentally prepare myself because I try mentally preparing myself when I watch poor things, and I was not ready for a single bit of it. Neither was I. I went in there like, oh, okay, um, well then. Sex scene after sex scene after sex scene, like <laughs> it's why my title, my video, too much spice. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh my what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, go well, well, you should have said, well, you should have said um, in the beginning of the video, you're like, in case you guys are wondering what the title of this video is, go watch the movie and see for yourself. Don't be commenting like assholes. Like, oh, I didn't get, I didn't get that. I didn't really get that much hate comments. I'm just saying if you do that, like whenever you do though, when you make a, like, a, like make a funny title. Yeah. Something like that. Just say, go watch the movie for yourself, and then you'll see what I mean. So. But whenever I get a chance to watch Immaculate, I'll let you know what I think. I'm really excited to watch it. I know one thing, not a whole lot of people went to go see that movie. I mean, I kind of... I thought more people were... I thought a lot of people were actually going to be seeing that because of Sydney Sweeney. 
And that yeah. was a dude, that movie was a passion project for her. Like she auditioned for that film like years ago. Well, let's just say it's it, it it's made a lot of certain groups of people very upset. Religious people. It's funny because um people don't understand it's not really about that. It's I'm not gonna say anything, but as somebody who is, I won't speculate too much. I won't go down that rabbit hole. I was not even offended. So, if I'm not offended... Neither, neither should I. People should not be offended then. Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely, freaking Lutely Hunter. If I would, if I could see one in IMAX, though, I would want to see The Fly in IMAX for sure. Like, I definitely want to see that. Is that coming out this year? The Fly? I keep hearing about that. Oh no, that's it. That's one of his older films. Ah. Uh, Let's see. Nineteen, yeah, nineteen eighty-six movie. I think you might be talking about um, Cronenberg's upcoming movie, The Shrouds. Oh, The Shrouds, okay. Yeah, Hunter has been t telling me about that one quite a bit. So, Also, I saw on Instagram, um, if, if, you, if you actually follow the Letterboxd account on Instagram, um, whenever they post like their top fours with celebrities... I have to really respect uh, McKenna Grace. I'm not lying to you. Yeah. I have to give her mad props. She put in her top four. Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet. Tangled. Priscilla. And Oppenheimer. And I'm like, girl. Mad props. I don't think I've seen the first one you said. I don't know if That's I watched the... Tang. Hmm? It was uh, Baz Luhrmann's um, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that one. I don't think I went and watched Tangled, but I can understand Oppenheimer and... What was the other one? Priscilla. Priscilla, yeah. I didn't really like Priscilla all that much for some reason. Maybe give it another try. I, th I think uh, maybe a second watch might do the trick. Yeah. I mean, Even though it I... is not, not a very rewatchable movie, though. Yeah. That's how I felt about Ghostbusters Afterlife after watching it for the second time. Um, there's plenty of movies I can say that uh, that I can say that I that improved for me on a on a second watch. But then again, though, I can't really think of it at the moment. But I can tell you a movie I rewatched uh, last night, and I still remember how much I enjoyed it. What was that? Anyone but you. Ugh. This movie's so freaking funny, dude. It's really, it really funny. And that's what and that's what bothers me because people went out to flock for that, but they're not supporting her passion project. So it's like, do they really I mean, want to? Yeah, but it's a rom com, and not and and plus, um, Immaculate's more of an independent horror film, yeah. so. I mean, I like that. I liked any one for you, and I was not even into rom coms. I mean, I like a good rom com. I like even like some good cheesy rom coms. Yeah. And I think that hear? one really really embraced it. Did you hear we're getting Happy Gilmore too? Oh Jesus Christ! Why can't like basically this is my response to Netflix uh, for doing that? Why can't you just go back in your home? That's your home. Are you too good for your home? I don't know I I hear it was on Netflix and then I saw something on TikTok saying it's gonna be in theaters in 2026. So I don't I don't know. Why did you just go back in your home? That's your home. <laughs> Are you too good for your home? Answer me. <laughs> I'm too good for my home. <laughs> That's the moment I always remember from Happy Gilmore is when is when he's kind of just yelling at the ball like, "That's your home. Go back in your home." <laughs> Um, that is a weird choice. So out of all the see, out of all, out of all of his movies that haven't been sequels, pick that one. But I mean, it's Happy Gilmore. 
I would have expected Waterboy too before that, but Captain Insane thing all shows no moisty. <laughs> I might oh. do might do a couple of uh, Adam Sandler watch longs here pretty soon. I definitely want to do the Waterboy and Happy Gilmore. It was funny, like not last year, but the year before, I had written down that I wanted to do the best and worst Adam Sandler movies. And then I got my wisdom teeth yanked out, and then I haven't got around to it since. <laughs> oh boy, I know that feeling. I got my wisdom teeth removed back in September. And let's say I was a little baby about that. But, like, when I woke up, bro, I could not tell you how, like, I couldn't, not only could I feel, not feel my mouth, but, like, later on, when, as more pain started to induce, I was like, I was like, oh my god, give me, give me more numbness. That's funny, the night before the surgery, I ate, I ate a whole lot of food, right? Because you couldn't eat at all after that. When I woke up, cool, I, I got... couldn't eat six hours beforehand. Like, oh, yeah. When I got back in, I got back in the car to go home. I puked all over myself. <laughs> oh yikes! That is disgusting. Well, out of all the six hours of food I ate, and the they knocked my they knocked me out. So. So yeah, lesson learned. Don't eat don't eat so much before you go before you have surgery. Pretty much, or you will wake up from the numbness and the nausea. Bleh. <laughs> yeah, the way he said it. Nauseous and the numbness. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> the way he said it was funny. Blah, 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 blah. I'm the barfila. Blah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that is funny. Hey, it's my boy, Jacob. What up, Jacob? What I will admit about this one compared to the second one is that this one's a lot more like toned and more serious than Meg 2. I feel like Meg 2 tried to be a comedy more than anything. And it kind of and it failed on that. And some it, parts it made me failed. laugh. <laughs> no, I definitely wouldn't mind yeah, seeing Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> definitely wouldn't mind seeing Jason Statham in a slasher movie after watching The Beekeeper. Him being the final guy. Yeah. <laughs> Him with his knife skills. You got, he says, uh, you guys having a chill spring night? I suppose so, for watching the Meg. <laughs> but also, it snowed, it snowed in my area last uh, this weekend. And it's, um, it's also been raining, too. Yeah, I've gotten rain, too. It's been pretty rainy here. Doing so good, and now, and now the beginning of spring... Snow. Exactly, spring weather. If you uh, catch my drift. <laughs> yeah, right. Because we barely have even gotten any snow this entire winter. We've only had like a, like one snowstorm. Like in, in in my area, we've only had one snowstorm. That's it. Uh, we've had all sorts of wonky weather. But yeah, otherwise it's been nice in my area. We kicked we kicked off January with a very bad bad snow freeze to having like a lot of sunny days in February to 
maybe rain in March. Well, funny enough, the snowstorm was actually the weekend that the beekeeper was was out. Oh, what the? Ooh, my, my, my. Welcome to my roller coaster ride. <laughs> like that, you know. Like just imagine I'm puking just just imagine puking on the person that's sitting in front of you, like while you're on a roller coaster. Oh jeez. Let's not. They, I know. Let's see. I'm gonna record my review and just wanted to pop in. You guys enjoy your night and movie. Well thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you, Jacob, for popping in. I appreciate you. It's a giant squid. <laughs> it's the squid. Who brought this tentacle in here? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, where's Tentacruel? Oh, you'll see him later on in the evening, probably. You're dead. Your eyes tell the story. Well, this is it for me. Whoa. Sharks. Hello, Miss Megalodon. You're to save the day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So glad I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason Statham. Oh, it's like it's gonna check some day. Don't mind me, just checking on a few things here really quick. You're all good. Just for the hell of it. There's nothing you can do! Push the button now! No! Was the button now? Get out of the underwater! <laughs> Wait, why are we talking about like Arnold Schwarzenegger when we're watching a Jason Statham movie? I don't know. Whoops! <laughs> Wrong actor. I tell you, wrong one. Well, they were too much in line with Expendables. Expend a four bowls. Fuck that movie. Yeah, I have a feeling we're getting a fifth one. No, we're we're not going to. The Expend for bowls failed at the box office, so we're not getting another one. Yeah, well, that's good at least. Well, 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 I'm glad it failed. Yeah, it certainly wasn't worth it to me. Now, look, I'm not wishing failure on the movie at all. Or anything like that. I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> bro, if I got to meet Jason Statham, bro, I would have... Oh, continue. Yeah, I would... I would, um... She's coming. <laughs> She's coming. <laughs> I told you cinnamon. Cinnamon. <laughs> What's that from? I don't know. I I I always say that I always yell things for emphasis. Emphasis. Or 
admit you made that whole story up. No, you started that fight. You calling me a liar? Oh, I ain't calling you a trooper. <laughs> ah, Drake and Josh. There you go. I, I knew that was going to be the one. <laughs> it's like, <sighs> but I, but I also saw this one when he with, with uh, Amber Heard. Like, don't call me a liar. <laughs> I ain't calling you a trooper. <laughs> And Nickelodeon is. I, I love that. That's actually, I think that's actually my favorite quote from Drake and Josh is, <coughs> I ain't calling you a truther. <laughs> Megan! Like for me, no con. <laughs> <laughs> that is not my job. What's another one? Um, because this is the living room. And, uh, yeah. Living. <laughs> this is my worst birthday ever. Ever. Because you ran over Oprah? No, because it's a little new. Yes, because I ran over Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it whenever Josh just screams at Drake. <laughs> What's the other one? <laughs> We're supposed to sound like we're from outer space, not Paris. <laughs> You're giving me a headache. A headache. What's the other one? This is horrible. Horrible. Uh, I would have killed. For a whole new season, but fortunately, it was not meant to be. Drake, where's the door hole? <laughs> I don't know. He's like, it goes right there. See, I drew a magic marker. <laughs> you were supposed to cut it out with the power saw. Dude, I'm gonna. Oh, really? Yes. So go get the power saw. Okay, I will. Now, you big boob. I see. I see the problem. Oh, do ya? She's a demon. That's what she is. A, a demon! demon! A bit uncomfortable there, are we, girl? Well, let's take a look at your copy of your transcripts and your grades. <laughs> That's what transcript means. I'm like, Drake, for real, man? You kind of a dummy. <laughs> you kind of a dummy. <laughs> well, the biggest one where I know he's definitely a dummy was when he asked because uh, he ran over Oprah. Yeah. And I was like, he's like, no, because it's a little human. Yes, because I ran over Oprah. My boss is gonna be so mad at me! Oh, forget. why did you have to tell her about the twins? I can't forget Crazy Steve. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be just fine. Not fine! <laughs> I told you cinnamon. Cinnamon! <laughs> You're a child! <laughs> I 
Hey, Dave. Yes? You're a child! <laughs> you're, you're a child! <laughs> I just love the way that Josh fires it at Drake. He's like, you're a child! <laughs> <sighs> That show is goaded. Nothing. Nothing. Welcome. <sighs> you seem to like it. You're damn right he's a part of this team. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me to come save your asses. Which they will. A slaughter! <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it's a little electronic shark vacuum cleaner thing. One of those for like food cleaners. Yeah. I've seen one of those before. Don't go too far now. Don't do that, there, little girl. Everybody's tired of hearing him speak. Let well, Jason say him speak. <laughs> he knows what's up. He clearly does. Well, not somebody who could take over the Taken series, Jason Statham. Yeah, but they're done by this point. Yeah. Because what the third one turned out. I mean, and freaking Liam makes pretty much every Taken movie nowadays without it being called Taken. Clearly. Uh oh, you found a friend, not a good one. Well, not a good friends. <gasps> Sharky disappeared. Yeah, I'd be scared for real. Yeah, if a giant shark was staring at me, I'd be like, nope, I'm gone. I'd be like... <laughs> Start singing the Thunder, Thunder song, except it's 
You shark, please don't no. eat me. <laughs> no. It's like, fuck you, Megalodon. You can go away. <laughs> How's that? Oh, Jesus Christ. I think it Chomped hurts you because it's mad. Chomped him right in half. Fatality! Yep. <laughs> it, it ain't a Mortal Kombat fatality. It's a shark's fatality. Which is a lot worse than a Mortal Kombat fatality. That's what she said. <laughs> and if she doesn't say that, you have a problem. Oh, and also, you guys probably don't know what good humor is by that point. Yeah. Or good timing. Yeah, they, if, they, if they say, like, you do not know what good comedy is, and he's like, I'd be like, you calling me a liar? Because I ain't calling you a truther! Yep, there you go. <laughs> I ain't calling you a truther. <laughs> Don't mind me for right now. I'm just getting some stuff moved really quick. You're all good. You know, I was just trying to get a few of my horror pack stuff put on my shelf. I liked seeing Josh in Oppenheimer. I wish he would have. He would have was shown more though. Oh, Mr. Peck, yeah, Josh Peck. Because there's two different Joshes that were in um, Oppenheimer. Yeah. There was, um, yeah, like we all know Josh Peck, but there was also uh, Josh Zuckerman from uh, Sex Drive. That was also an Oppenheimer. Who would thought? A guy first. in a goofy, raunchy, com raunchy sex comedy in a Christopher Nolan movie. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, that Christopher Nolan movie probably got him a bigger payday than that comedy he did. Don't be dogging. Don't be dogging on sex drive. Oh, I'm not dogging, and I'm I'm just saying the payday was probably different compared to the two. Probably. But I'm still waiting for some raunchy comedies to come out this year. I know we have Deadpool, but that's about it. That isn't necessarily just a that isn't necessarily a raunchy comedy. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shark. Why is he making me think of 50 Cent? Good point. All right, Dwight, what type of smart answer are you going to give us now? Oh, no, what's wrong? We got this back.
Taking a nice casual swim. <laughs> You sure about that? Cue the shark music. Dun 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 Just realize we need more giant snake movies. Yep. I think we've what only had like what two? I have no idea. You really think goggles is gonna protect your head? <laughs> no, I was gonna say, um what are those goggles gonna do? It ain't gonna prevent you from your head exploding. Or getting ripped off one of the two. The shockproof goggles. <laughs> you got one chance, Mr. Statham. Better make it count. And good job. Yeah, DJ Braylon, real man. I'm in trouble. <laughs> you think I didn't notice? <laughs> There's no way he's that fast of a swimmer, dude. I was gonna say that you cannot outswim a shark. Might be some training though, because J Jason Statham does do his own stunt work. Yeah. I think he's really the only one left who does. Besides Tom Cruise. Well, yeah, Tom Cruise, obviously. That'd be oh. great if, if Tom Cruise and Jason Statham actually did a movie together. That, that would win Stunt of the Year if they ever gave that a category. <laughs> I mean, Top Gun 3 is in the works, so maybe Jason would be a part of that. This close. Oh god, welcome back to Jackass Shark Week. <laughs> Somebody call Steve O. No, get Wee Man. <laughs> make, make, make him go underwater and make sure the and see if the sharks actually eat the baby birds. <laughs> Wee Man is a tiny little fish. Shark bait! It's not okay! 
No, get Jasper out on a floaty. <laughs> get him out on a floaty where the sharks are at. I should get Wee Man. Who is that other? Who is that other tiny comedian dude? Brad. Can't think of hmm. the last name. All right, here we go. It's showtime. It's showtime. Oh, come on. Why? Dinner is served. Oh. That made a little dumb. Actually, that was kind of dumb. I mean, you kind of just gave her. We need to the sharks with all that bait. Was well, that way not as dumb as one of the scientists in Deep Blue Sea? Cutting her hand and then to draw the sharks towards her and then jumping into the water? Uh, yeah, that would definitely be a dumb thing to do. And plus, the sharks in Deep Blue Sea are altered super sharks. So. The juiced up sharks. Where's the shark? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, whoa there. Jesus Christ. Better get in there, stay them, and help. Well, you shined it in his eye, so you technically hit it in oh. the eye. Nope, you just made it mad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hold on. If that were me in there, I'd probably be pissing my pants right now. Here comes Jason to the rescue. Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, well, at least he has that to breathe. Yeah. Because if he didn't have that to breathe, it's like, okay, you're going too far. Your head would have exploded. Yeah. Oh! He's looking for fresh meat. Fresh meat. <laughs> Just go on the go around the other side of the boat. Why you still there's another boat there you could be going around. Oh, that was close. Dude, that was close. Character decisions, I swear.
Oh yeah, that's just a great idea. Put more bloody bait in there. Oh! Whoa! Oh. Okay, yeah, he's dead for real. Yeah. Well, at least they was... lured him in. Dude, go back up! Don't just stand there waiting for the shark. You know, you could go up. I mean, that's kind of the whole point. <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy, you're doing, you did such a great job helping. <laughs> oh, I'm here, even though you did all the work! Right. <sighs> yeah, she lost a lot of the pressure. But she's alive. I don't know how, but okay. Well, dude, you saved her life. Without you, she would have been a goner. Gone, gone. <laughs> about to say, she's not about to go back out there again, is she? Crazy? Well, they caught it. Yeah. <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh, that's funny <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was too funny. <laughs> Dude, seriously, he just freaking made him just jump back in the water. How did he don't have to fall for that? <laughs> Bro, I really would have fallen back too. <laughs> I mean, if I'm being completely honest, man, I, I probably would have fallen back too, man. Yeah. Oh my okay. god. Okay, now get out of the water. <laughs> oh! Whoa! There's another Cal one. Whoa! Calabunga, not in a good way. Calabunga, dude. <laughs> Oh. oh! 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 Yep, he's dead. 
Down goes the ship. No. Well, saver times three. Yeah. Nobody said there were two. <laughs> 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 I said that. There's two. Nobody told me there was two. <laughs> Don't pull that razor stuff on me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Has he, done, has he done any more movies since then? Since Meg? I don't, know, I, think, I don't think Dad survived. Time to fight him. The rescue. <laughs> the, 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 one. the rescue genius. How does he have signal out there in the middle of the ocean? I don't know how. <laughs> you guys are going to swim back. Uh, here comes the nonchalant sacrificial sacrificial lamb. Yeah, I didn't like him anyways. It was fine. You guys, come on, you guys. Better swim back. At least one of you swim back. Both of you don't stay in there. Dude, swim back. Who cares about him? He's wanting to sacrifice himself. Go! Gone. <laughs> Instead of watching it, you should have been swimming back. Exactly. Toby's in the chat. What's going on, Toby? So sorry I couldn't make it today and hear in the chat. It's all right, man. It's okay. Maybe another time. But we're having we're having good we're having a good time though. We are having a blast. Every one of us. <laughs> this is a wild movie, dude. It is. You are correct, Toby. What? Where'd he come from? Oh. Oh, okay. I, I thought he was going to leave him there for a second. I'm like, you, you piece of shit. I'm going to kill you. You backstabbing piece of... <laughs> that thing is the devil. <laughs> oh, you think? <laughs> you think, huh? Hopefully it's payback time. God, I love Rain Wilson. <laughs> what? 
What the flip? I don't think that's gonna do anything, buddy. <laughs> I just wanted to get it off our backs. I mean... I mean, that's kind of true. <laughs> Oh no! Yep, he didn't make it. Ah. Uh. Oh, man. Oh, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you damn right. Oh, man. I feel that there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for saving our asses. Again, multiple times. TNT dynamite. Don't do that. Oh, sorry. It's fine, it's fine. Charge of the white sedan. You left your lights on. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Just go for the light. That's for sure. Yeah, most kids are usually. Yeah. Well, saying wasn't a word I heard very often. <laughs> You're macro unbelievable. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well then. You're like, oh. <laughs> So like this, dude, like. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn. Ain't blowing up those bags. Nope. <laughs> Hit it again. again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna get my, some, some goddamn prehistoric fish. Oh, that's that's gross. He's got fist cuts all over him. <laughs> oh, why would you show me that? That's disgusting. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't want to, but yeah, I'm seeing it. Wait a minute. Oh no! No! 
You better start swimming, buddy. Or you're not going to get too far. Huh. <laughs> No! Oh, he's still alive. Dude, that was close. Oh, no! He's gone now! Oh, no! No! Jason is in the building! What's up, Jason? This one was actually hey, a good movie. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Luke's going to love the second one Wednesday. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. We'll see about yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great day to go fishing. <laughs> yeah. Great giant shark fishing. <laughs> Damn. Maybe we have a plan. Or maybe we don't. <laughs> Who knows? Never. We just... We're just going to blow it to pieces and call it a day. <laughs> Who the hell knows? Jason knows. He always knows. Girl, you going back in that water again? <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> you what? 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 What 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 Oh, here we go. Yep. It's feeding time. Yeah. <laughs> That little dog. Not the dog. <laughs> Pippin! <laughs> you better swim your little doggy legs right back out of that water, Pippin. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Not the dog. Faster, 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 faster. Oh. Hmm. 
Okay, fine, fine, fine. I want to finish my popsicle first. Uh. Who's on the next target list? Yep. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Easier way to get eaten? Yep. Oh god, here it goes. Huh. It is alive. You think that's all going to fit? No, it's not. You know, everybody's not moving very fast for there being a shark in the water. Oh. Nope, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, the shark is here. <laughs> the ball is not gonna save you. Well, it's getting faster than anybody else right now. Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're gonna they're gonna die. Yep. Oh, ooh, they got so lucky. They got very lucky. Oh, too lucky. Like I said, a little too lucky. <laughs> oh, here we go. Jason ain't afraid of no shark. Shark 
instead of a Ghostbuster, it's Sharkbuster. Well, there's, well, there's a big old shark underwater. Come right after or... you. Who are you going to call? Who going to call? Jason Statham! <laughs> it's going to say shark busters, but okay. Yeah, you won that one. I mean, none of, nobody else is helping except for him. So, I mean, there's not really much for shark busters. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. It'll be okay. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Oh. Nice shot. Oh. Uh oh. Bring it to me. Give me the shock. Do you want this, you ugly bastard? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> This is getting a little intense. This is getting a little intense. Smart move. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh. Oh, that just happened. That really just happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there she is. Reading it away from the ship. Idiot. <laughs> Stop talking. Dude, she don't care about you. She wants to see her mom. I'm okay, too. <laughs> Almost nothing. <laughs> Make this thing bleed. Jason always has a plan. Go stay them. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. Ooh yeah, nice. Plan. I like that. Please. <laughs> Let me rip out all your insides. Whoa. Oh. oh. Still good. Still good. 
So good. Uh, maybe not so good. There you go. Good job, Jason. Again, at least he found his way to breathe. I wonder how that shark's still breathing after having your stomach ripped up like that. Maybe it's a different shark. Oh, right in the eye! Ooh! Come on, Jonas. Go, 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 go. Run, Jason, run. Go, 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 go. Don't worry about the other shocks. What you doing, man? The shocks are coming. They're in the flesh. And I have to watch because I'm intrigued. Oh, that's who he was waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna swim out, swim out the mouth. Gonna, gonna give it a little swim. Ah, oh, the dog's fine. Yeah, that dog is that dog knows what it was doing. <laughs> Good is. <laughs> just like Mr. Statham. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. I can't lie to you. I, I, I forgot about that. <laughs> wait, wait. When they end the movie like that, that's actually really clever. Yeah. Yep, no mid or after credit scene. Had to check and make sure. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for to see if there was one too. 
Well, I was, wa well, I was watching the physical copies, so yeah. Can't lie to you though, this actually looks really good in 4K. I bet it does. Yeah. Uh, Netflix has got it on the HD version, so. Yep, but I have the well, pristine 4K of the Meg. Yeah. I need to. I need to own the Meg. We own the second one. But you need to buy the first one. Yep. So, yep, this movie is still a lot of fun. But what else can we really say? It's a lot of fun. Really stupid. Yes. Corny. Yeah. Cheesy. It's a, yes. It's a good is popcorn it a vibe, though? movie. But is it a vibe, though? Oh, yeah. 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 Giggity, giggity, goo. <laughs> giggity, 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 giggity. But yeah, the the mag is so much fun. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for joining us for a watch along of the mag. Stay tuned on Wednesday for a watch along of Dur to the Dur, Meg to the Trench, um, and then Friday will be Saw Two. But oh, tomorrow gosh. night, hopefully, just go, hopefully just sticks to the plan. Uh, Movie Goers live show with um, Tracy. We're making her return back from last year so that should be a lot of fun and dave do not worry buddy i will get you on the show at some point i promise no i wasn't worried you're all good <laughs> i know but in case you are i'll get you in i promise oh, i know and you have my word it's an event when i'm here so <laughs> and i'm glad you were able to make it an event um i'm just um I know Mike couldn't show up. I mean, I know how much he loves this movie, but it's it's okay, man. Like, it's okay. Yeah. There's plenty more coming. I mean, we got Crank coming up, so it's like, why would I, why would you not show up for Crank? Yeah. So, I mean, I showed him Crank, and he loved it. Like, like <laughs> that movie is so bizarre. Like, it's one of seriously. those movies I need to sit down and watch. It is so freaking bizarre. Like. Oh man, like that movie does not stop. Interesting. Like, I'm not joking you, it doesn't stop. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody so much for coming in here tonight. Um, please go check out Dave's YouTube channel, go follow him on Instagram and Letterboxd and TikTok. Please do so because he's a great dude and um, he's a really funny guy. So go check thank him out. You. Hey, why are we still have the site? <laughs> goes away yeah hopefully not fingers crossed um fingers crossed but people have been freaking out about tiktok bands even since the last year <laughs> yeah but oh well but thank you everybody that came into the chat tonight once again and thank you today for joining me here tonight this was a ton of fun so, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow night for the live show and see you guys Wednesday for Meg 2. So, have a good night, guys. Peace out. Peace.